And as we do each and every Wednesday at 40 past the hour, you can reach Teddy every trading day, folks, at forex-trading-unlock.com. That's forex-trading-unlock.com. Teddy Kingstat, what's going on? Oh, good morning. It's a nice uh, kind of still warm uh, Wednesday morning in Chicago. We've had some good weather the past couple of days, so it's kind of nice. You that's, know, since we're all in lockdown. That's a that's beautiful, man. It gets people's attitudes better. You look at that blue sky, right? They, they, you mm -hmm. need it up there. You need it everywhere. Absolutely. No doubt. So, so. currency wise, man, <laughs> I, I'm telling you, man, yesterday I was looking between the peso and the rand, man, I just feel like going and putting some big money into both of them. It's like, oh, my God, I've never seen the, the currencies get destroyed so dramatically in, you know, basically 20 right. years. Right. Absolutely. Now, it's funny you mentioned the peso, too, because I was going to tell you, we have some signals that have gone off in some of our major currency crosses. And I think that we're finally starting to come into a period where we're going to some of the currencies are still going to be stressing. Um, but I think some other ones we're going to start to set maybe a little bit of a range bound kind of uh, thing, you know. Yes. So I think like the uh, Mexican peso and also the Turkish lira, especially, um, I think the dollar is going to still remain a bull, especially because of the coronavirus, you know, fundamental driving that right now especially because both of those countries, their numbers are increasing right now. Uh, but then we have like the look at the U.S. dollar Canada and also the British pound U.S. dollar. Those are two major currency crosses, especially the pound, which is the second biggest in the dollar index. And with their I mean, they, their prime minister is sick with Corona, you know, yeah. I mean, and their currency is very stable. So in considering the volatility, I mean, of all the currencies that have volatility, the pound, I mean, that last the month of March, I've never seen that thing move like it did, you know, so um, but with those that being said with those currencies stabilizing kind of going range bound i think that it's showing that we're even though volatility is is here and it's not going away, it is starting to drop, you know? And I think that the currencies are, especially for their major currency crosses, they're not necessarily overdone, but we're all in this boat together. And the industrialized countries are, you know, I mean, this Europe is still, their curve is not exactly doing well, you know, um, but then it is what it is, you know, but they have everybody helping them, you know? So we have some, so I think that the dollar is still gonna remain strong, but you look at like the Euro and the um, Swiss, Remember last week or two yes. weeks ago, we were talking about how bullish the dollar was. Right now, I think you have a little bit of a correction going on to the other direction. I think you're going to have the euro U.S. dollar and the U.S. and the Swiss um, be strong versus the dollar for the next few sessions or so. You know, I think the pound, I don't think if you're trading that, I think it's going to be fun for range traders. If you're a swing trader any direction, I think you're really going to be out of luck. You know, now with the yen, I think the U.S. dollar yen is a place where I have a buy signal on that from yesterday or from a couple days ago. So we're looking for some follow through to the upside, but maybe not that high. Maybe maybe up to the, back to that 112 area. It's probably going to run into some resistance up there, you know. So I don't think you're going to see a lot of follow through with these moves, you know. Um, we had a buy signal for the U.S. dollar, or excuse me, for the uh, Euro U.S. dollar yesterday, and a sell signal for the U.S. dollar Swiss. But these are only for like the next three to five sessions, and I'm not looking for a major major move from these. I think what they're going to start to do is establish an upper zone and a lower zone for your major currencies for the next couple of months, you know, because just like we're starting to see a stabilization in the, in the stock market, yes. you know, I mean, it's really going nowhere, Tom, you know, I mean, I mean, it's just it's really not going anywhere right now. It's just volatility. No, I agree. And I, I, it looks to me, I mean, you know, I started out with that, uh, the, the Rand and the peso, and it looks to me that, yeah, it's blown out and wants to pull back, meaning it gets stronger. And mm -hmm. the pound looks like it wants to get stronger, man. I mean, if the pound breaks the top of this range, right? It, oh, absolutely. It would not be six days, man. Uh, and what's so cool about that, uh, Teddy, is that the news is terrible over there. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. hopefully, you know, Johnson comes out of it, and it's, it's, there's better news out here this morning. But right. that's pretty cool when the news is so bad. And, it, and their currency it, staying stable. It is. It is. Right? Yeah. It's, it's, and that's why I think that's why I, I was – highlighting these major currencies that are starting to consolidate and that's what gives me this idea that the big money when it comes to these to the bigger countries we're all in this together you right. know like it's when you talk about you know the brazilian real and and like the peso they're so far behind the curve right now and who knows how i mean i hope that in mexico they they really start to tighten down because if it hits mexico city i mean that could just be i mean yeah. devastating
you right. know. So and we don't want to see that anywhere, you know. So with those currencies, I think that the dollar is, is still going to be a bull. I mean, with Iran and Turkey, with their rates going up, how can they, how can the dollar not be a bull versus those? So I think you're going to see those really stretch going into the next month and a half. And I, t I tell people in my videos and, and I talk to, you know, unless you're a veteran currency trader and you have deep pockets, stay away from those markets because they're, the volatility is just too strong. You know, yeah, they're I mean, too illiquid, right? Now, I'm, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. What, what, do, what does happen, folks, and what's happened right across the world, now this is, you know, we're very lucky because everyone wants dollars. I mean, if anyone has can understand anything out of this crisis, it is not a country in the world that does not want dollars. If we were in a citizen in another country, we want U.S. dollars, period. That's, mm -hmm. that's, and that's why this dollar is staying so strong. You know, right. and of course, we have unlimited printing abilities and the Fed's going to do unlimited printing abilities. But, mm -hmm. you know, the bottom line is <laughs> these dollars are going to go overseas. They're going to be in people's sure. mattress. They're going to be everywhere else. But, you know, so it, that's pretty wild. And here's man. something I think that'll reinforce what you said about dollar strength is that, you know, those points, I think, absolutely are viable for dollar strength. But look at what's happening right now. We have gold that is, I mean, <laughs> spiking higher again yesterday. Um, but we have oil that is so low. And obviously, that's impacting the stock market, but we're a petrodollar. So that should have impacted the dollar. And during the whole time that the oil has been breaking for the past couple months, the dollar has been strong. Right. You know, so and that's that's an inverse relationship, you know, so and especially when you see countries like, you know, Australia um, and New Zealand and stuff like that, how they're on the outskirts. China's supposedly coming back online. That's good for those countries. But even with those, I see a little bit of divergence. I don't think you're going to see strength in like those countries, because like you said, the dollar is still something that I mean if this becomes a reoccurring thing and this is just a wave where it's going to flatten out for six months and the next winter it comes back or something if this is really something that becomes part of our life well the dollar is going to stay a bull for a while yeah. at least I, I can't see it not being that no well that's right I mean because it's glaring at us folks I mean this is mm -hmm. not you know the the aspect of you know if I go back you know 10 15 years you know especially being in the gold market you know all the plenty of uh, conspiracy folks are saying that no the dollar is going to get destroyed this and that. Well, you know, even mm -hmm. you can go back to uh, 20 years ago that uh, what was one of the one of the best traders out there that broke not Soros, but his partner, you know. Oh, yeah. It, you know, the pound. Yeah. I mean, he he went uh, he went all in on the one, you know, saying mm -hmm. that China was going to be the deal. And that was the worst freaking trade in the world, man. Do you know what I <laughs> right. mean? You know, so. Right. Absolutely. Pretty, well, that's a whole animal on itself, too. Yeah. There's no doubt. There's no doubt about that, man. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. But I think that we are starting to see. Um, and, and I hope that, you know, this everything there's a treatment and things flatten out. And this is not a reoccurring thing. But our lives are changing, and if these, if this does start to become a big part of our world, I can't. I mean, you know how much of a bear I've been on the U.S. dollar. So coronavirus aside, I would be bearish looking at this mark at the dollar right now. You know, but with these fundamentals in right. place right now, we have all these new industries that are popping up and stuff like that. Like, we'd have no idea how. I mean, good good times bring on the worst things, and bad times bring out some of the best things that happen to human. You know, as far as time goes by with sit with our society. No doubt. So we'll see. And folks. We'll you can reach Teddy every trading day at forex-trading-unlock. Teddy, you have a great week, safe week. Tommy and I look Thanks, forward guys. to speaking to you next Wednesday. You too. Thanks, Teddy. All right, take care. Stay right there, folks. I'm Tommy sure and I come right back. Are.